Hey guys, today I wanted to uh, talk about the benefits of the SARP surgery. So SARP, S-A-R-P, stands for Surgically Assisted Rapid Palate Expansion. Um, so there's another version of it called a MARP, and that's basically a manually assisted rapid palate expansion. The difference being is um, from the research I've looked at, a lot of times for guys that are basically 20, 25 plus, uh, their jaws are really hard. So in order to do this surgery, they have to go in and manually kind of cut the sutures in the palate and uh, up in the jaw to ensure that when you start turning the device, it basically can do what it needs to do um, for the Marpy. What they end up doing a lot of times this is works well in women that are looking to get this procedure done is they basically uh, take the expander that goes on the back teeth and they basically screw it up into the upper jaw kind of holding it in place and then for women they don't actually have to go see a surgeon for this um, which i think one from a money perspective is awesome definitely less invasive as far as recovery so you know, from a benefits perspective obviously I think women have it easier in this world but you know relative to anyone looking to get this done I think the biggest reason to get it done is for people that have had breathing problems their whole lives uh, you know the goal of the surgery is basically to expand the size of the upper jaw which most importantly is going to increase the size of your nasal cavity and allow you to breathe better through your nose. Um, so for me, um, I had a really small upper jaw, but I mean, asthma allergies, kind of my entire life, always sick as a little kid. And then thinking to now, it's like I'm halfway through the expansion process and one, I feel like my tongue actually fits in my roof of my mouth. And then two, like how much better I can breathe. I mean, allergy season just started two weeks ago. First time ever in my life, like I don't feel it in my nose. I can definitely feel like my skin from the histamines, but to be able to breathe clearly and not be like super congested and have issues sleeping, um, that's a biggie. But you know, one of the other biggest things, I think people don't really kind of understand perspective-wise. I mean, it's something I really sort of learn after I read more and more about all this is just how important it is to nasal breathe when you sleep versus kind of shifting to mouth breathing during periods of deep sleep. So one of the issues that most people have, especially as they get older, if they have you know, congestion issues during allergy season or just due to having a small airway is getting deep restorative sleep. Now, as we age, everything kind of works less and less efficiently. So especially if someone's got a smaller upper jaw and their nose is more prone to congestion or allergies, or it makes it harder to breathe through your nose when you get into deeper levels of sleep, people just don't recover as well. So I think one of the most important things is ensuring that people get deep restorative sleep because their nose works well. They're able to keep breathing through their nose throughout the entire evening. They don't downshift to kind of mouth breathing or having apneas, hypopneas where they stop breathing. And especially as we age, sleep is very critical as far as buffering inflammation. So I think for people who have issues with chronic pain, any types of issues they have with, you name it. A lot of it comes back to how well does someone sleep and recover every single night? Because you know, as we get older, obviously our bodies work less efficiently. We typically add stress to our lives. You know, the, the one thing we can't afford to do is not sleep well. And I think as we age, our lungs don't work as well, our nose, kind of doesn't work as well either. And then as a result, we get into deeper levels of sleep and then it becomes an issue with being able to stay in deep levels of sleep because our nose can't do the job that's necessary. And then we kind of downshift 
to the level of sleep that we're getting and then we end up waking up not buffering the stress in our lives not really recovering from the day before and this affects our memory our energy and just our ability to learn new skills and feel rested and excited about life but you know the biggest thing i've seen about this surgery for myself and through a lot of reading is just how much effect it can have on your immune system from just getting good sleep and being rested, as well as just your quality of life based on how much better you're gonna breathe, especially even during the day. You know, for me in allergy season, normally I'd be on all kinds of freaking flonates and allergy stuff, allergy shots, all that stuff. And I mean, I'm not on any of that now after the surgery. And at this point, I breathe a shitload better than I used to. So, you know, for anyone interested in this surgery, uh, definitely a lot of benefits health-wise if people have had any issues. And I think there's also going to be that for those who are basically looking to deal with, uh, basically from a bite perspective, from the actual structure of the jaw and making sure the teeth line up Plenty of people have issues with TMJ, all kinds of teeth grinding, all this stuff. So one of the biggest things can be, you know, having the surgery to assure you realign your bite properly and uh, possibly ensure that you don't have to pull adult teeth, that all your teeth will fit. So definitely a great strategy as far as, you know, what it does. If you guys have any questions, definitely feel free to reach out. But um, you know, five weeks into having this procedure, and I can say it's literally changed my life. It is awesome with all the benefits I already feel. And I can imagine two, three months from now, how much of a difference it's gonna make in my life. But just kind of wanted to share that. Um, just let me know if you guys got questions.